Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. It has been a long time since we have been here on the Survival Series world. And today is going to be an exciting day for sure. Because today, if you will take a look right here in my inventory, you will see that I have a full set of diamond gear. And that is because after the last episode, after I realized, oh man, I really need to keep my promise to my viewers and make sure that by episode 20 I have a full set of diamond armor well today I believe is episode 18 and we already have it so I went on a quite a mining spree over the past couple of days and I was able to find enough diamonds to recraft some diamond armor yes I still have all of the diamond helmets over there in my storage room but today we are going to be enchanting them and putting them on and we're going to actually get some upgrades to the skeleton farm that I have and I've found a way to actually turn it turn it into more of a skeleton grinder sort of thing. So while I do know this is not a maximum uh, enchantment table because it doesn't have all the books and whatnot, we're still going to enchant our stuff anyway because it's been too long. So this is the final shot of me with iron armor, hopefully for good. Um, but here we go, time to enchant it. So first things first, we pop that in. Diamond helmet, okay. So all we can get, okay, all we can get on that is protection one. So that's what we're going to do. How about a diamond chest plate? Okay, projectile projection one, unbreaking one, or projectile projection one again, okay. Um, well, this gives us a better chance at getting something else, but unbreaking one is pretty good. And I'll, we will be dealing with a lot of skeletons this way, but unbreaking might help it last longer, and I want it to last as long as possible, so we're gonna give it that one. Diamond leggings, okay, projectile protect protection one, and ooh, protection two, okay, well, you know for a fact we're going with that one. Now, let's see, okay, so it only gives us the thing that we enchanted, and finally, the diamond boots, the things that'll probably break first. Okay, prote pr protection one and protect, yeah, I can't speak, I'm sorry, projectile projection one. Uh, we're going to go with the protection one, but we have a chance of getting something better, so we're going to go with that one. And it gave us absolutely nothing, but that's totally fine. Okay, so that's our fully enchanted diamond armor. So here's what we're going to do, my friends. We're going to take this junky armor off, this heavy weighted iron armor. And ready? One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, guys. It finally happened. We have diamond armor, and we're polishing it off, getting it... A little nice cleaning in the rain right here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But so now we're going to go and head over to the skeleton grinder. Uh, well, soon to be the skeleton grinder. And we're going to turn it into such. Uh, but to do so, I might need some more buckets of water and cobblestone. There's a lot of resources I will be needing. Um, so we're going to look into that and see if we can figure it out. So onwards. Okay, we have officially made it to the skeleton spawner, and after watching a lot more Hermitcraft lately, it's very obvious to me now what a horrible job I did on trying to turn this into a skeleton spawner. So I'm going to play some torches, hopefully so that nothing else spawns in here. Yes, I do see that there's a skeleton. Okay, so now he's dead. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to probably time lapse this and we're just going to excavate all of this and dig down pretty deep and hopefully turn this into what will look a lot more like an XP farm than it currently does. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to dig down really deep and establish some sort of waterway system. It's a good thing I brought a bucket. 
uh, and the waterway system will lead them into some sort of little area in which I can just kill them, but close enough so that it still triggers the spawner. So let me just make sure that this is totally... Okay, that's about as safe as I can get it. I'm going to have to relocate this chest as well, but yeah, here we go. Okay, and we made it out. So I just came out from there. This will be the little area that I go down into. And I know I'm hitting my head on this. So I just come down here and I just have to kill him. And I should be close enough. So now let's go and perfect all of this. I should have brought more torches with me. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't have any coal. That's a problem. Uh, but here we go. So if we go in here... We just have to put a bunch of water source blocks everywhere. Um, and that broke. Okay, so let's fix that really quickly. Okay, I was hoping I had enough wood for some sticks. I didn't see them at first. I was panicking a little bit. Uh, but there we go. Okay, so another iron pick. And we kind of take some fall damage, but you know what? Who cares? Put that there. And that should be perfect. I might have to extend that, though, now that I think about it, because the water that goes up here might be too much. We'll see. We'll see how it uh, turns out. So let's go back up. And we don't actually need that anymore. That's really annoying. And we're just going to refill up a bucket and uh, keep doing this process. Okay, all the items went there. Now if I grab this hopper, plop it down right there. I want my chest. There's my chest. 
hook that up. Now I have to make sure that that's connected to the chest. I think I have to do that manually, right? Yeah. Okay, here's my hopper. And boom. Okay, that should be hooked up right there. I think that's hooked up. And then all I have to do is literally just sit here and I can kill the skeletons all day long. I should be close enough. So what we're going to go do is we're going to run an official test. We're going to break all the torches on the actual spawner and see if we are good to go. There goes that one, that one, that one. Oh, and they're shooting at me. Oh, oh, there's a torch down there. Oh, I didn't think about that. Um, we're going to have to find a way to get rid of that. Okay. Mmm, did not think about that at all. Okay, go away, torch. And now we're being shot at. Okay. And... Now we should be able to just get rid of this. Just hop up and break. Oh, we can't break those blocks. We're going to have to go down here with the rest of the skeletons. Oh, no. What if I do that? And then break this. And go up here like this. And go like that. Okay, now we should be good. And the official test should be ready. So now if we just go down here, hop into this little area now that I have torches, or it's not torches, I have arrows sticking out of me. If we just go down righty down here and check up, Oh, and there's just skeletons galore. We just had... Oh, that is... That is amazing. Oh, that is wonderful. And they keep on spawning down here. They just keep coming. Oh, this is amazing. I love this. And if we sit here... Oh, and it starts racking up. Okay, I'll take those torches. But if we sit here... Now, why am I not getting any of these levels? That's my question. That's why. Okay, and if we stay here long enough, we should eventually be getting some more skeletons that make their way right down here, right for me to kill. There we go, there's some more. And this is a success, guys. I think I'm just gonna AFK here sometimes and then come back and just kill all the skeletons. So, this was a very successful project, indeed, and I would like to take this time to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This is, in fact, the last video of 2020, and with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.